Hello guys and welcome to another MK Mobile video guys. Today we are doing some Cold War Tower, Fatal Tower using three Cassie Cages and what I try to achieve is to check how well uh, the new Cassie Cage, Combat Cup Cassie Cage, goes with uh, the old Cassie Cages and actually any team because uh, if you take a look at her passive it will work on any team because once she marks somebody as an outsider you see, um, any attack against the outsider has a 50% blockable chance, so it doesn't matter that, I mean, it's never specified that it should be, that it must be a combat cup team, right? So any other character can do it. So if you manage to do, uh, like, I don't know, some special attacks on Cassie, just make sure that the enemy is outside and attack her out immediately. Then you have this small window of about 10 seconds, probably even less, 10 seconds when uh, the enemy who is an outsider will be having a lot of problems um, because all uh, actually all attacks will have 50% chance to be unblockable against him. This is the equipment I gave to these girls. I'm not saying it's the best, not saying it's the worst. It is something. This is the this is the term something. All we have to do is have some fun. So yeah, let's even give uh, this. The only thing that I tried not to do is I didn't want to give them any epic uh, max style pieces except for. Um, the Cassie, which is Fusion Zero, reason being, I don't want her to die, I want to test her out, right? And the other three Cassies, the reason I build this team, guys, is because you requested it in the comments, so please let me know which should be the next team after the three Cassies. Uh, and of course, I'll be doing Battle 140 in this video, that'll be pretty cool. Alright, I want this guy to be an outsider, alright? So you have to buy some time, then do special too. This will be, uh, this will buy me enough time to attack this girl out, and then I can attack in this Cassie. And I don't care whether he blocks because I have 50% chance to break his block on any mini hit. Look at this, that's beautiful. And the damage was uh, pretty consistent. He's still an outsider, so that's pretty amazing. Alright, again, attack to the captain. You know, the captain of this team is a diamond Cassie, right? Oh, alright. Special 2. Even if she blocks. Ah, she doesn't, so it's even better. I'm going to do special 2. Killing her in the process. Ooh. And the weather warfare, guys, is such a cheat. It is such a cheat. Alright, block it. Then counter attack. Special 2. If you haven't seen uh, this Cassie special 2, now is the time to do it. So if you don't know, now no. Even though, I bet you don't really play a lot of this Cassie, right? The, I mean, she looks so cool. But for some reason, her passive is really outdated, her moves are outdated, the whole character is outdated, so... You know, there are so many characters in this game that are simply... Alright, I don't want to say unusable, you can use them for quest mode or something, but... It is really sad to have, let's say, a pool of 10 gold cards and a pool of 15 diamond cards that 85% of the player base uses, and then the rest, they're hardly ever used, so why don't they just... I mean, they can give us an update where they, let's say, introduce one diamond and rework all golds that are considered bad. Like, there are so many of them. Just buff them. And that will bring so much energy to the game. Like, this Cassie, almost, almost nobody uses her. Why would they, right? Why would they? Uh, I don't want to say she's totally useless because a lot of people will rage about it. <laughs> but it is what it is. Guys, even if I say that all characters are useful, let's say that I say that, all characters are equally useful, which would be not the thing that I think, right? It should be a lie, because I don't think that. But let's say that I do, I say that all characters are useful. Uh, there will be people who disagree with me about this and they will rage. I know a guy, by the way, from uh, our Discord server who despises MK11J. Not, not only that she hates her, but he truly believes she's a garbage character. Like, garbage character. So if I say, for instance, that MK11J is good, which she is in my opinion, this guy will probably dislike the video or you will dislike the statement or whatever. So all I'm trying to say is that uh, you just have to say what you think. You don't have to try to please the people. Like, because whatever you say, whatever you do, there will be people who will be unsatisfied. And that's the truth. Alright, anyways, let's focus on the game. I am frostbitten for some reason. How am I frostbitten? I just... How am I frostbitten? That's really weird. Oh, I'm, I'm blind now. Alright. Let's tag in the captain. Even though the captain won't be doing any damage. And at this point, the second part of her passive is kind of useless. Uh, because uh, she... I mean, this guy cannot tag out, right? <laughs> That's bad. 
and the damage is just hilarious. After all, she doesn't have anything for damage, she just has something to health so that she can stay alive. I wonder whether I can use her against bosses, that would be pretty cool. I will give uh, the best pieces to uh, this Cassie, Punk Cassie, and then I'll use the other Cassie just to uh, uh, m make sure that the boss are outsiders. Even though the passive that takes the percentage of max health doesn't work, actually again, uh, percentage of current health, I'm sorry, doesn't work against bosses, I can still take advantage of the 50% block for chance. That would be pretty cool. Uh, that would be interesting battle, by the way. I want to see it. Actually, I want to see it. I will see it and I will experience it firsthand. <laughs> Dark magic, all right. That would be interesting. So for this uh, battle, I don't want to really die. Uh, so I'll be killing them fast with my uh, punk cast. Yes, that's the plan, guys. That is the plan. Uh, and in the comment section, please let me know what you want to, me to do with the channel. Like, the game is really bad at this point. I don't want to waste a lot of my time uh, for doing videos for a game that is uh, really declining. Not that I lost complete interest in the game, but uh, for instance, one review takes six, seven hours. So imagine doing this and then take like... Uh, at 1.5k views. It really feels discouraging. So once again, it's not about the money. It's not only about the money. It really feels discouraging. That's the thing. That's the truth. So I, I would like to proceed with reviews once the game is a little bit revived. Let's go this way. Because currently... Uh, so I want to keep the channel, the channel alive. But I don't want to invest too much of my time. Like something in the middle. Probably I'll do... I, I promise you guys to do a history or whatever episode. Probably I'll bring one. The point is that I am almost exhausted the hot topics about um, the thing, so it's even difficult there to give you interesting content. So probably I will uh, I will create an episode about the um, God, you're disgusting. Uh, the most impactful updates on the game. I believe that would be cool, and I will keep this uh, channel challenge thing with playing different characters. Uh, I don't know what else to do. Probably. There is, I have one account, that's a pretty developed account, probably I'll give it away, probably. And I know that this community, like MK Mobile community, I am uh, convinced that if I do a video, I'm giving away an account, I'll track a lot of views. But if I do a video where I invest six or seven hours of my time doing a lot of stuff, research, uh, pre-recording, editing, uh, for let's say a review of a certain character where I put a lot of tips and stuff, I, I will get like 1.5k views. It is what it is, this is how human works, right? Uh, but yeah, I will probably give away this account. I don't know when, but probably this year. It's a cool account, by the way, it has some tower equipment. Uh, one of my friends, when he quit the game, he just gave it to me and I said, okay, fine. I will. I don't know what to do with it, uh, but uh, I wanted to keep it as my second account. If something happens to my main account, I don't know what might happen, but if something happens. Okay, why do I have tagging attack? Because we tagged in the same time, that's weird, that's weird. All right, anyways, I'm going to do one special two, and then I will talk to my captain. Yep, yeah, that's why she's the captain. You see how she jumped over Cabal, guys? That was pretty cool. That was pretty cool. All right. All right, you. Ooh. <laughs> he got punched in the nuts and he was like, ooh. All right, the weather warfare is such a cheat. This card should be legal. All right. Okay. Remember that. Okay. Why didn't you intercept him? He was slowed. Uh, even though he has speed, it doesn't matter. Though. I hate this cabal. Honestly, uh, this cabal and Jade. So when are they getting deleted from the game, guys? I was just wondering. <laughs> oh my god! I'm just going to kill him with a blow to the nuts. Oh! He just. Ooh! <laughs> this guy is immune to groin attacks. This guy is absolutely immune. He just ooh, takes the damage like a total sir. Alright. Now, I believe we have one uh, one game left until our uh, ultimate goal, which is battle 140, from which I'm going to get a resell. Uh, but it is what it is, guys. It is what it is. Uh, I'm not. You can tell that I'm not really excited of doing this tower. Nothing new for me. I have just one piece that is not maxed out. Oh, we are about 140. That's cool. That's cool. So let's reorganize our equipment. I will give this Cassie the best tower equipment possible, which basically means that I will give her. Hmm, what should I give him? The missile gap. I will give her um, the general father's gun, and I will give her um, uh, the thing. You know, the thing. Mm, the thing that belongs to Scarlet, right? 
the thing that I don't have maxed out. Alright, this thing. And then, uh, the other girls don't really... I don't care about them. This girl, though, is going to have um, the thing. Alright, she's going to have... Um, when I say the thing, guys, I mean the living dead. You should know this by now. And this girl, she's okay like this, but I would give her some chance to um, evade death. So I will give her the... Hmm, what should I give? The Jinsei hat. Alright, so, yeah, so she doesn't die, even though she's kind of, her mission in this team is, it doesn't matter. Alright, start the fight, guys, start the fight, and we'll try to do it in one attempt, even though I might fail, because this is the first time ever, I'm not kidding, this is the first time ever, live, like, ever, live pre-recorded, ever, when I use Strike Force Cassie Cage actively as my main fighter against bosses. I have no clue what to do with her. Uh, so, and they have shields, which is annoying, which is really, really annoying. So, uh, I will do some damage. Oh, I think I can do it in one attempt. Look at the damage. It is simply gorgeous. And I have, I'm bleeding, uh, and for some reason, I didn't even check the modifier. Alright. Okay, going to special 2, which will result in uh, me breaking the shield of this Cold War Sub-Zero. And hopefully he will stay, so that my, no. Oh, that wasn't really cool. Okay. Power drain the boss is good, 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 good. Special one. I should have attacked to Dialakasi. It doesn't matter though. Dialakasi is, is there just because she looks pretty. Uh, this Kasi is not really that pretty. Alright. Oh. She deals pretty insane damage. You see, guys, this is why I'm telling you if you want to invest money in this game, equipment is the way to go. I am destroying this boss battle and I'm not even trying hard. So. <laughs> like, uh, I'm using a character who is by far not the best character against bosses and then i'm going to do this this assassin scarlet and then i'm going to include the other cast just because i can just like this special two which will uh turn to be unblockable hopefully and it deals some damage so it, it wasn't a waste complete waste and she misses all right that's good that's beautiful i'm going to put this cast so i can power drain this sub zero uh and then i will wreck this uh girl with a special two like this, special 2, deals insane amount of damage, and then I will do the other Cassie again. Oh, that was so bad. That was so... I keep forgetting that they're getting, uh, you know, frozen after the attack. I keep forgetting that, but I'll find myself enough time so I can do special 2, and then tag to the Punk Cassie. And the Punk Cassie will make sure this is zero. Uh, cannot do anything, he's crippled. Actually, he's not crippled. What I, uh, what I meant when I say crippled is that... He's so slow that he is like a cripple, he cannot do anything. And now I'm going to do special 2, finishing this battle without any problems whatsoever. Uh, with one basic gold, uh, with... Actually, it doesn't matter, really. If you give these uh, pieces to any character except Leatherface, you'll be able to do it in one attempt. <laughs> no, even with Leatherface, you'll be able probably to do it in one attempt. Though, if you use him actively, you probably you might fail. But if you use him passively, uh, triggering his uh, whatever chain, so probably you can do it in one attempt. Alright guys, so this is going to be all for today. Please let me know whether you like those videos. Uh, I have no clue what else to do in this point, at this point, I'm sorry. Uh, so, the next video will be again three characters of the same type, uh, Battle 160. So, uh, Battle 160 is pretty, pretty terrifying. And if you select some weird team, it will be really difficult for me. So, make sure to select the most, str the strangest team ever. Three uh, Ermax, for instance, that would be pretty challenging. All right, guys, see you next time. Take care.